today I am working on my P46M3. As I said in the last video, the Vano system has been broken, 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 and the Vanos is actually the variable cam timing system that the BMW uses on this S54 and I think S50 and various other BMW motors. So this is how it works. So here's the actual Vanos unit itself. It's already been pre-assembled and I'm just waiting to fully install it. There are two pistons in here that are oriented like that. These two helical gears are actually fastened with uh, this left-hand thread. This section here will slide into the camshaft. And as you can see, since it's straight, it's just gonna lock right in with that cam and make it so that there's no movement available uh, rotationally between this and the cam. Now this helical cut gear on the front, it's caught on an angle. Uh, that's known as helical cutting. So what's gonna happen, as you can see, if you were to trace this point at the beginning to where it ends up here, if you were to draw a line straight down the middle, what's gonna happen is that that is actually rotating this way as it goes in. So as it goes into the cam, it will go in and then it'll rotate at the same time. In, rotate, out, rotate the other way. So what that's gonna do, that's gonna mean that by actuating these pistons in and out, it's gonna be able to control the rotation of the cam, which is going to lead to the camshaft either being advanced or retarded. Unlike most engines, the camshafts aren't directly connected to the timing gears. They're only connected by the Venus blind hubs, which are fixed to the timing gears. This is why proper Venus installation is really important, as Venus timing is engine timing. This is just a valve body. So what happens is the high pressure oil that's generated from this pump is going to get sent to a reservoir on the side of the motor. There are four ports in this valve body and there are four magnetically actuated valves. On the exhaust side, it has the high pressure pump. And this is where you see the two teeth that often break on E46 M3s. And what happens is you can kind of see there is since there's so much free room, the ears on that pump disc actually end up smacking against the side of that hole. And sometimes, depending on how bad it gets, it will actually shear those teeth off. These have been fine, so I upgraded to the Bason or Bason disc, which has smaller holes drilled into it. I'll insert a video of that. The mark here, these are the, the Bason ones, which have been drilled to be a smaller diameter. These are the original ones. Okay, so we are live. This is its first maiden voyage. First time I've driven it with proper Venos in a long time and on the way to the E46 M3 meet that have been a group of for two years but never made it to. Uh, the M1 supercharger is called like... Uh,